Hey there guys, this is Super Ty over at the Awesome Books and Comics Sidekick Store. I'm here with Comic Book Brando, and I'm so happy we actually got more of these giant mystery magic fun size merch boxes. So happy about them. We got a whole lot of them in, and uh, we're just going to start it back up again. So, let's check this out. Brandon, are you happy that we got these again? I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. I love opening these boxes and filming it and being asinine. Christmas in the spring. Let's check these out. It's not spring yet. It's not spring yet? No. Feels like it. March 20th. Feels like it's spring. Well, welcome to Texas. <laughs> So let's check this out. Oh, we got a Transformers Combiner Wars Motor Masters from the Generations line. Motor Master? Man, I actually loved that guy. So he was like the black semi-truck Decepticon, but he was like considerably smaller than Optimus Prime. Right, right, right. I remember him. So I figured he had like some kind of like issues. Um, but he combined with the other like uh, vehicle-shaped dudes to become... Uh, uh, Minasaur. Minasaur. Yeah. Yeah. God. I love me Transformers. Uh, we got some comic book top loaders. Not too shabby. You know, if you have any uh, comics that you're really just wanting to, like, keep pristine and, you know, maybe just make sure nothing gets to them, these guys are pretty awesome. Practice safe comic booking. Let's see. Oh, we got a game in here. We got a Catan expansion for Traitors and Barbarians. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. I like seeing all this new stuff. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. And this is like the newer version of the Catan expansion, too, because it doesn't say Settlers of. Uh-oh, I, uh, I know a certain comics book girl, Spazzy, would like this. We got a Catwoman shirt. She's being uh, aggressively loved <laughs> on by Crypto. Got two of those. That's pretty great. That, uh, aggressively loved aggressively on. Aggressively loved on. That's how dogs do it. Let's see. We got a Tim Burton's Stain Boy color changing mug. I remember seeing these a while back. Yeah, yeah. Drink your coffee morbidly. Oh, we actually got a couple of those in here. Alrighty. Let's see, we got, we got stuffed a little, uh, I believe these are called Mopies. Yep, yep. Of uh, classic Batman. Classic Batman style. Mm, parents died. Sad Bat. We got another game in here. We got some uh, Yu Gi Oh cards. Man. Yeah, a nice little tin of Yu Gi Oh cards. Looks totally fine. A non dented tin. That's yeah. cool. We also have tons more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards than other trading card games over at Outlaw Moon. Gotta catch them all, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, we got a uh, Eagle Moss Star Trek official collector ships. Which one is this? The ECS Fortunate. La Fortunata. It's unfortunately shaped, the Fortunate. Now we got some uh, Walking Dead figures. Let's check this out. We got, these are Series 8. We got two Ricks. Uh, three Ricks. And we also got Bob. Poor Bob. Tres Ricardos. Yeah, do you, uh, did you watch uh, this season? I did not. Yeah, Bob. He, he loves the hooch. <laughs> Poor Bob. Poor Bob. Not a lot of hooch in the zombie apocalypse. I assume that the little bit he found got him into trouble. It did. Quite a bit. Uh, we got a Marvel Eagle Moss chess uh, selection of The Brood. We got a couple of those before in the previous boxes a while back. Ain't nothing like an X-Man turning into an alien brood thing. Ah, uh, my favorite character from the Walking Dead series, uh, Carol. She's the most badass, in my opinion. She's super tough. We got a wacky wobbler bobblehead of a weeping angel from Doctor Who. I will say, that, it, that, uh, that episode that they first showed up in, it was called, like, Blink or something. Yep, yep. Genuinely creepy. Genuinely creepy TV. Yeah, it's pretty spooky. Yeah, huge fan of that series. Uh, okay, we got some Deadpool silicone tray. If you haven't seen the movie yet, it is amazing. And might as well make some ice for your cocktails while watching. Quite fun. Uh, looks like we got another one here a little bit further down. Actually, we've got a couple of them. Let's get them all out. So, so I have to ask, Ty, the stuff behind us is what, what we did last time. There's a lot missing. 
Yeah. We sold through a bunch of that stuff. So. People, people are digging it. Yeah. If you guys like this cool discounted stuff, then by all means, come in and get it. Yeah, we because we're getting some more, but it goes fast. It will be gone. All right, so a lot more of these silicone trays. Might as well make a little party. It's a Deadpool party. <laughs> oh, man, bringing in Oingo Boingo. <laughs> So this is a little bit of a bummer. We got some uh, frameable posters. Frameable posters. <laughs> I don't even know which ones these are. We got a Fear Itself by Stuart Eminem. Uh, Shield by Alex Ross. You look like salad fingers holding those all up. <laughs> Did you ever see that? No. That's creepy as hell, man. <laughs> so awful. I, I was going to say noodle hands, but you know. Anyways. I'll, I'll show you salad fingers sometime. It's the worst. Salad fingers. Just, it's a nightmare fuel. <laughs> awesome. Can't wait to see it. Um, we got some more pops. We got Batman Arkham Asylum Killer Croc. We also got a uh, from Bert. He did not like the rubber duckies, but he does love pigeons. I remember that, like he uh, cultivated pigeons. And bottle caps, too. Oh, really? I don't yep. remember that one. Voiced by the ever wonderful Frank Oz. Frank Oz. Uh, if you like Monty Python and the Holy Grail, we got the Finch. Uh, French taunter, uh, John Cleese, one of my favorite roles he did. Do you remember any of the lines? Uh, fart in your general direction. Um, oh God, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. His mother smells of elderberry elderberries. Berries. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got some Walking Dead uh, mini mates. This is the Governor and Bruce. Switchable head for the Governor. With eye, without an eye. Ah, once again with some uh, Deadpool, we got Deadpool's Chimichanga truck. The thing I like about this is it has the menus on the side, and it's like uh, knuckle sandwich, cherry bomb, bag of chips, a slice and dice. Uh, there's also burned Chimichanga and evil Chimichanga. <laughs> chimichanga. You know, uh, that's my proof that uh, there's a higher power that somebody was like, hey, I got a burrito. Let's deep fry it. <laughs> That's divine inspiration. We got another one of these right here as well. Life immediately becomes better. Let's see. We got a... Oh, cool. This is a Tyrion Lannister Game of Thrones Legacy Collection. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I've seen the Jon Snow and the Hound and all the other ones. We've had him at Austin Books, but uh, he has not been in any of these wonderful boxes yet. Not yet. Uh, let's see, we got Munchkin uh, Steampunk. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a fairly that's new game. Yeah. With art by Phil Foglio. You may remember from the comic Girl Genius. Oh, yeah. Or if you reach back a little bit further to Dragon Magazine feature, what's new with Phil and Dixie? And a bunch of magic cards. We got a... This one's missing most of the package, but the figure is just fine. This is a uh, Marvel Select Wolverine, the full brown costume. It's kind of uh, missing some stuff. It might be in the bottom of here because it's just missing the actual package, but we'll see what we can find. I think there was a base that held up the samurai armor, if I recall correctly. So, uh-oh. Right now, I think I found something you'd like. Uh-oh. We got Stay Puff. Oh, uh, yeah. Stay Puff Bank. That's so rad. You know, when somebody asks you if you're a god, you, you say, say yes. yes. <laughs> I've got other Stay Puff quotes, but uh, nobody steps on a church in my town. What did you do, Ray? What did you do, Ray? Uh, I couldn't help it. Camp. Well, uh, I don't remember the camp name. Uh, the camp name, but it was by Lake Wanatanaka. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, we got some DC mini figures, some blind box figures. Don't know what it could be. Could be anything. Could be Joker. Could be Batman. Could be Riddler. Could be uh. Could be Catwoman. Mer uh, Burgess Meredith. Penguin, never know. Only one way to find out. Oh, we got a whole like stack of these. These are, man, I can't even see what it is. Well, you opened it, now it's not worth anything. Well, it's all the same thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is a Warhammer Invasion card game Iron Rock Battle Pack. We got one, two, three, four, five, six of these guys. Battle Pack. Do your Warhammering. See what else we got here. We got a uh, Hooper from Jaws for the uh, reaction figures. We've had a couple of these before. Let's see, we got a 
Pop Series uh, Arkham Knight from the video game Arkham Knight. I mean, why they didn't call that guy a robot, I don't know. Dude, robot would have been way better. It's such a good name. Oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, a Cylon. Oh, man. Classic. Classic Cylon. Exterminate. Well, we got a, without a box, uh, but I know this is a blind bag for the Doctor Who. It says the 11th Doctor series. Might end up being a trade figure, or we'll just leave it here and take a chance. Who knows? Uh, we got a uh, Xenomorph <laughs> head bottle opener. Uh, I know I why I think Brendan knows exactly what I'm thinking. Xenomorph head. Yeah. Not anything else. Not anything whatsoever. <laughs> thing is good for opening bottles yep and that's it <laughs> uh we got a super saiyan sun goku the one of these uh bandai little uh oh, little main figures right there that's awesome yeah that's pretty cool goku let's see we got a mini mate set of kill bill from the house of blue leaves that was an amazing sequence that is one of my favorite scenes in both movies but i do love them both Let's see. Oh, we got another one of those Gokus. <laughs> Goku? Would that be the plural? Goku. Goku would be the plural? I don't know. I don't know. It's a name. We have a book, a uh, little book about Superman by Tash and Books. It's just a... Uh, yeah, these are neat. They got all sorts of art, lots of uh, um, classic covers, I some love, information. I loved it when they did that stuff. Oh, yeah. the uh, Like photorealism? Kirby-style collage. Actually, that probably is Kirby himself right there. Oh man, this uh, looks pretty ridiculous. Let's take a look at it. It looks like a Godzilla, Godzilla Medicom figure. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome! Reclining Godzilla when he's on his break. Chillaxing Godzilla. I've seen this design before in an older figure, but man, that's super cool. Uh, we got another one of these uh, DC mini blind box figures. We also have tons of blind box figures over at the Guzu Gallery. Well, we also have a new art show, right? Yeah, the new art show. It is called Frame That Tune. If you guys like old school animation as well as new school animation, we have a lot of awesome art prints for it. Uh, my favorite was the Birth of Tina, the Bob's Burgers uh, one. That was pretty funny. That's a good one. But there's also a really good one. So this guy was just on his own. It was just a little Garbage Pail Kid. Garbage Pail Kid from the Blind Box series. Now let me let me blow your mind. I'm ready. This is the second series kid, Hot Scott. Hot Scott. Yeah, so... I didn't waste my childhood indoors looking at Garbage Pail Kids all day. Not at all. I can't remember his twin name, though. Okay. Sorry. I want to say it began with a T, like Todd or something, but I don't know. Uh, we got a Dragon Ball figure of Frieza, final form. Frieza. I don't know. I'm not a Dragon Ball fan. Yeah, I don't know. Although, I apparently like the... The truncated version where they like redubbed them. I watched a little bit of that one on Dragon Ball. It was pretty hilarious. So oh, was it? I might consider going back and watching those. It's, my only main problem with that series was it was, at least the ones I saw, where it was just them flying, you know, just standing there. They talk for 20 minutes, <sighs> hit each other for like 30 seconds, and it's like, next time on Dragon Ball. And, up planets. And I'm just like, what? That's, that's why I think I could watch the other one because they have some pretty funny dubbing in it. So. Okay, well, I mean, if they can make it like hilarious, I'll watch it. Check it out. Uh, we got another Walking Dead figure. This is uh, Eugene, one of the best mullets on TV today. Who else has a respectable mullet? I just said maybe one. that one. I don't know. If you watch the news in Florida, there's some really good ones. <laughs> uh, the Walking Dead, uh, some more middle, uh, middle, ha, mini mates. <laughs> middle, 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 middle. Middle to the middle based. Okay, and just two more things. We got a zombie survival gear lunchbox. Man. You're in the. Stash your bologna sandwich in style. Yeah. <laughs> Put some brains in there. This is pretty nice. I like this. And uh, last thing is another blind box figure. I don't think I've ever seen this. No, I saw it over at Guzu. It's the uh, best of anime. You can get like a Titan or. Little cat with wings. <laughs> Little cat with wings. I, I, I'm sure it's something. Um, yes. <laughs> You're probably right. I'm, I hope I am right. <laughs> I don't know. And, uh, well, Brandon, that's it for this box. Some good stuff. We Some stuff that we've never gotten before. So, uh, 
It's got some cool games, got some new pops. Got these t-shirts. Uh, man, I'm pretty happy with it. Fresh gear. Fresh gear for Sidekick. So, uh, guys, like this video so you can tell us how we're doing. Uh, share this so uh, your friends can see all this cool stuff that we got in. And please subscribe to these because we got a ton more of these boxes. I want you guys to see what we're getting. And be sure to come down here fast and get them because uh, as any indication of the last stuff we got, it's going fast. So, uh, this is Super Ty over at the Awesome Books and Sidekick store. You can follow me at Super Ty Denton One. You can follow him at, at Comic Book Brando. And you can follow all of us at Austin Books. That's it for this time. We'll catch you later.